Hi, this is uh, the second video of my RO machine. Um, I've done a little bit of change to it. I've actually, starting on this side, I've actually put in a couple of ball valves. That way I can use my transfer pump to pump water or pump sap out of my holding containers down out my door out there to where my evaporator is so I can use this for a couple of things for transferring and as an RO so as before I uh, I'm gonna pump out of these containers I'm gonna take a measurement here and see what my sugar content is goes up to my RO through the transfer pump to the 5 micron filter then it goes around a quarter inch line to this high pressure pump then it goes up to my pressure gauge goes over I took out some uh, uh, valves I had in there and a bunch of the splitter what I did is went to the top of the first RO down to the bottom back up to the top of the other RO and then down round to the side I just put a flow limiter in I want to see if that works otherwise I can regulate the um, back pressure on the um, sap with that uh, valve then it goes over and into my holding container again for right now so I can raise the sugar content a little higher and this is my clean water so I'm going to take a measurement and see where my sap is I just collect a little bit um, tomorrow we should have a really good sap uh, run for the next few days actually or for the next week so I've got a little bit so I can get this tried out so I'll uh, let me get my um, container and uh, we'll, we'll check the sugar content so I just took some sap out and my sugar content wow it's actually at 3% that's uh, pretty high for me I usually only get about 2 so that's a pretty good starting point so we're going to turn this RO machine on I just drained what I had in there and uh, see how this uh, backflow valve works to start with and then we'll see um, what the sugar content is. Let me plug this in. The transfer pump's a little loud. So, my uh, pressure with that backflow limiter is at 100 and, uh, about 105. So that's going to work really good. So we'll get the system primed up. Okay, I had a little bit of a problem. I ordered some elbows, like this here, because the straight fitting leaks a little bit. And I don't know why, but they were restricting the flow so much, my pumps weren't working. So I wasn't sure what it was. I changed filters. I tore apart my uh, transfer pump piece back here so I thought maybe that had something to do with it and I don't know what the heck stuff with those with the with those fittings they have a pink end on kind of like this does so I'm not sure but anyway I got this thing working I have to put my transfer pump pieces back in it when I get done here but I just wanted to check and see what the sugar content was so We'll let this fill up. I got that restrictor on there, but it didn't seem to do anything. So I had to use the, the valve um, I might have to invest a little bit better needle valve, but we'll see. I, I might be able to get by with what I have, but this doesn't really work as well as I'd like it to. This is taking a few minutes. Apologize. This doesn't have a very fast flow rate. It's only uh, I got 75 gallons a day uh, RO filters. I didn't really understand when I bought them, so I think I'll update them to. Uh, 125s here eventually but I figure I might as well get a little use out of these while I have them so all right just about filled up here 
and you can see my hydrometer is coming up pretty high, so that's a good sign. And right now, running through there one time, we're at five and a quarter percent. So that is going to save me a lot. I'll go over here and I'll check it out on the table. So I'm not sure if you can see that. But we're right at 5% with just one pass through. So that's my RO system. And it seems working pretty good. Other than one city's leaking a little bit and I can't do much about it. So I hope that helps. A little bit of a pain to get working, but now that I got it up and running, um, I think it's going to work good for me. Okay, this is the final configuration. I got this all working. Um, everything's hooked up. I fixed the leaks. I took out the one that was on the top here that was leaking and just replaced it, put it down here in the bottom where there's no pressure. Everything's uh, hooked up. And. Tomorrow, with any luck, we'll have lots of sap, and I'll get this thing in operation. Said it as it stands right now. I was getting uh, three percent sap today with a little bit that I got, and it was coming out of this RO first pass at five percent. So I guess that's pretty good for what I have. Um, it could be better, I'm sure. Maybe next year I'll put two more. Uh, RO filters on it. I got room for it on the on the back side over here. So that's what my plan was. I can put two more uh, filters back here next year and I can run four of them. And it's totally portable. Moves around pretty nice. Um, so that's it. Hopefully it gives some other people some ideas. And uh, have any questions? Um, ask, I'll try to answer them, and uh, good luck this year.